Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about the state of solar in today's economy, or lack of it thereof. Where are we going with rooftop solar installations? What happened after such a big, big surge in 2022? Will batteries solve the issue, or can we say that solar is cancelled? Let's take a look at the available data today and try to come to some conclusions. This year shook out totally differently when it comes to solar small-scale installers. We have experienced a big decline in sales, some states more than 50%. Obviously, a lot of markets are different, but California as well as Texas and Florida dipped significantly in 2023 compared to previous years. Now, there's two major reasons why this has happened. One, changes in net metering structures to difficult economic environment. In 2022, electric rates increased significantly in USA on average by 10.7%. This big jump in electric rates caused a big demand for solar installations and according to SEIA, residential markets saw a 40% growth over 2021. I personally remember how my office was struggling with big demand as well. We saw lots of shortages of panels, inverters, optimizers, all kinds of equipment. I mean, there were times where some units were on such a long backlog, we would literally take pictures with it when it finally arrived so we could actually continue with our installations. And with the law of supply and demand, as the demand rose, prices were going up. Most homeowners were going with the more premium panels like REC, Panasonic, and so on. And in Texas, prices were above $3 per watt for a cash deal. Cash price, not financing price. And I'm not gonna lie, it was a tough, tough year. My company did over 200% of sales from 2021. I spent most of my days in the office working till 10, 11, or midnight on some nights. And then, boom. Well, not really. Then slowly as we entered into 2023, we had some tractions, but changes in California with NEM3 going into effect in April of last year caused a big backlog of people trying to get into that previous net metering policy. And now since NEM3 started, California has experienced a drop of 80% in rooftop solar installations. That's over 17,000 layoffs has occurred according to the PV magazine. Now, if you're not from California, what NEM3 did was basically cut the compensation for solar generation exported to the grid by about 75%. So now, as an example, if you were before paid 10 cents for every kilowatt hour you sold to the grid, now you're only getting two and a half cents credit. Grid basically used to be our storage back in the good old days. Now, while we can speculate what they were trying to achieve by changing the net metering policy, we can see the numbers and what the true results of that of those actions are. And the California Utility Interconnection Request data shows that solar sales have fallen between 66 and 83% year over year following NAM3. Now, obviously, California is not the only state in this beautiful country, but unfortunately, other states like Idaho also followed suit and slipped a new tariff literally at the end of 2023. Now, besides those net metering policies, which honestly are not the end of the world, I promise you, I will touch on that in a minute, the state of our economy and the Fed trying to control inflation by influencing interest rates is another big reason why we are where we are. Now, I don't know if I can legally talk about this, but many, arc many articles talk about it, so I'm gonna try. The problem is the solar lending. Solar loans are amazing. They make it super simple, they have low interest rates, but they also charge heck of dealer or origination or whatever you want to call it fees. So in 2023, we kept seeing increased rates and increased dealer fees for those solar loans. We are talking 30 plus percent per deal was going to the middleman. And again, following the law of supply and demand, as the demand decreased, prices started dropping. And not to mention all the leftover materials distributors got stuck with throughout 2023. We have seen significant drops in panel pricing. I'm going to base this on what I have seen in my area and with my business size, but please feel free to actually share in the comments what you have seen happening with like price drops and how that looked differently for you. Now, based on what my distributors and my contacts 
premium panels like RAC, Panasonic, panel prices dropped from in the 70 to 90 cents per watt down to below 50 cents per watt. And tier one panels like Canadian Solar, Qcells, Phono, they saw a drop from mid 50s down to 20 cents per watt. And I have seen posts on Facebook Marketplace or Facebook Solar Groups of people offering prices for less than 19 cents per watt. Like, what the heck? Now, according to another source, in China, prices drop, sell prices dropped all the way down to four to five cents, depending on the technology type. China is now left with so much stock and so are a lot of American distributors as well. They're trying to move that stock and get some sort of compensation. But because of such a slow season, lots of installers have to lay off thousands of people and some even have to close their doors. Now, how does that affect you? Like, why are you even watching it? You as a homeowner or whoever you are, a salesperson. Well, one, prices are low and they are so low, it's stupid. So here's what I say to you as a viewer. If you were in the market for solar, oh boy, <laughs> you will score yourself an amazingly good deal. And I mean, prices are lower now than they were back in 2020 when nobody knew what the heck is gonna happen with the world and nobody wanted to risk buying. Now they're lower than they were in 2015 and 16 when I started here in the USA. So just like with stock market, dips are when rich get richer. Now some of you don't want to spend too much money on the stupid loans. So what I personally suggest is financing with lowest origination fees, lowest dealer fees, higher interest rates, paying off that loan as soon as possible and what or when Fed possibly, if we could ever be sure, lower, eventually lower interest rates this year, and the economy gets better, you'll just be able to refinance with a better rate. But please, let me tell you this, look for Red Flags, a company that has been in business less than four years hasn't really lived through that solar coaster I was talking about. They might be out of business if they do not know how to properly run it and they don't know how to keep proper margins and a good cash flow. Selling for less than cost is dangerous and might put you belly up sooner rather than you think. Not making enough money to cover your fi fixed costs like rent, payroll, that's not smart. Cutting those costs for businesses is crucial to stay alive, hence so many layoffs has been happening. So please, if you're a homeowner, don't get screwed. Always, always, always trust a company with a proven track record, BBB presence, and lots of positive reviews that are not just one or two months old. Like look down the line, where there, was, there, was there any review three years ago? But again, this is an amazing opportunity to get solar so cheap now, I honestly am mind blow when I look at the prices. Like it, it's funny to me, like sarcastically funny. <laughs> now let's rewind a little bit and talk about the net metering changes and how that affects you. Well, what I suspect those states were trying to achieve to is to drive storage sales, which would ultimately help with the big grid demands, but storage can also help you. So now instead of selling electricity at those wholesale rates to the stupid utility company, you can simply put your excess power generation into your battery and then use that at night when the sun is down. And then you can say, screw you, utility company. I'm sorry. And a lot of you have waited with purchasing battery backup because of high prices, but with that low of a demand on solar right now, prices are coming down on storage as well. And I've seen so many very good deals on batteries lately. So now this might be a good time to look into it. Now, depending on your location, it actually might not make much more financial sense right now just yet for you to look into it, but looking into it with a reliable installer that has your best interest in mind, again, has proven track record, is not a bad idea. So now, even though a lot of those PUCs are claiming they were trying to launch us into the solar and storage future, we can say, okay, well, <laughs> screw you, they cost once thriving solar states like California, Florida, into bankruptcy and job losses. So where do we go from here? I being in the solar industry, ugh, since I was like a little kid, I saw my dad go through the solar coaster and I also have gone through mine as well in the past eight years of running my own solar business. And I know for sure solar is not going anywhere, but 
Knowing what I know now, I would encourage those that wanted to get panels, now is the time, but do it right. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. I will make sure to keep you posted on how the market goes in 2024. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, okay. Ha, ha, ha.